Hey everyone, Scott here, founder of Narebo.com, and today I am creating a Lufthansa livery concept on my Airbus A340 template. And what you're seeing here is not the final version. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get some ideas, just throwing some color down, and just seeing what works. And I did several of these quick iterations or these quick mock-ups before I got to my final design, which you will see at the end of this video. But right now, I'm just playing with color, as I said, and all I did was I took the existing livery, it was the old livery, actually, and I applied uh, basically a negative of what the existing livery is. And I know this is the old livery, but all I'm doing is I'm applying color to where there was white or nothing before, and it's essentially a, a negative of that old livery and it's a little bit too heavy as you can see it looks kind of cool i like the blue across the entire fuselage but i think it's a little bit too heavy and i was struggling trying to figure out how to get some yellow into this livery as well and <laughs> yeah it's just it's looking a little bit too sports teamish those of you who are familiar with the University of Michigan here in the U.S., that's kind of what this color scheme reminds me of. Just the blue and the yellow, it's a little bit, okay, a lot overkill. <laughs> and I just, I didn't really like where this is going. I, I liked it, but I just don't think it was Lufthansa. It didn't say Lufthansa to me. It wasn't really what I think of in terms of a great Lufthansa livery. It was too simple. Even though they are known for simple liveries, I just didn't think that it was uh, on track with, um, or it, it matched with, with what their existing brand language is. So after coming to the conclusion that what I was working on just there was not working, I decided to see what I could do with taking elements of the Lufthansa logo and using them as a base for the entire livery. So basically what I did is I took that, that crane element and I scaled it way up and I placed it over top of my template using a clipping mask so it would just so that you wouldn't see the edges around or bleeding off the, the edge of the aircraft. And I just tried scaling it up, placing it in different locations keeping in mind that it was important to use both the blue and the yellow equally in this livery because those are the Lufthansa brand colors and I didn't want to change that. So I had this harebrained <laughs> idea to cover the entire fuselage in yellow and I'm not really sure that this is working yet. I, I was not really, you know, I had no idea where this is going. Again, I'm just throwing color down with shapes and graphics and just seeing what works. And I was starting to think that I was really onto something here. I liked it, but again, I was worried that maybe this was not fully aligned with the Lufthansa brand and that maybe I was going a little bit overboard. Uh, I really like this. I like the idea of having the crane logo elements across the entire fuselage and just making them really subtle, you know, adding a lot of transparency, some depth, and, you know, maybe trying to get some blue in there. And it's just, <laughs> you know, this is cool. I, I, I like this. I like where this is going. And it's just not Lufthansa. And I, I realized it at this point that I was just, I was in way over my head and I knew this was not going to be the final design. But I kept going with it anyway because I thought maybe this is something that I could use for something else. It kind of reminds me of Etihad's newest livery with the overlapping fractal shapes. And that's kind of where this is going, at least visually. And I knew it wasn't the path forward, and I just <laughs> I couldn't help but to keep going. I'm about to abandon this soon. I, I actually forgot that I went this deep into this concept. But, you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. You just even though you know it's not the right design, you keep pushing forward anyway because you start thinking of how you can use this for other projects and... I guess you see me here trying still, I'm determined to make it work with that large Lufthansa crane logo in the back. I think it's cool, actually. I just, again, it's not Lufthansa, and um, yeah, I've, I've totally realized it here. <laughs> just delete everything. <laughs> now it's time to come up with a completely different concept. So the problem was that the first two concepts were too heavy. They were too, there was too much color, there was too much going on. Uh, it just didn't really say Lufthansa to me. So I thought about going old school a little bit, and I decided that maybe cheat lines were the way to go. 
I wanted to get that blue and the yellow, those those two colors in there in this in this livery, as equal as possible. You know, those are the brand colors. It was important, and I thought maybe doing something a little bit retro might be cool. Uh, it's you know I know retro was kind of played out in the design world, especially even in airline livery design, but I thought I had a good idea here with doing two. Uh, two thick stripes that run down the side of the fuselage and then somehow bringing it up into the tail. Not fully, but if that yellow could extend into the tail slightly, it's kind of like a tab graphic, if that makes any sense. And, you know, it wasn't really working the way I thought it was going to work. I, I like the, the cheat lines going down the, the center of the aircraft. It's actually kind of reminded me of the Singapore Airlines livery a little bit. I thought it was kind of cool. Here I am trying to add some more blue into it because now I'm thinking it's it's too yellow. <laughs> I gotta do something. It didn't work on the top, didn't work on the bottom, and um, yeah. So I scrapped that idea, but this is where I got my idea for the final design. So it's gonna be something similar to what you just saw, but a little bit more refined. So I decided to go with a solid yellow color for the vertical stabilizer but then I wanted to add just a sliver of blue actually kind of a thick blob of blue right in front of it on an angle the same angle as the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer and uh, you know just to create somewhat of a uh, I guess you could call it like a stripe effect which you will see develop here in a moment so again, I'm just in Photoshop now, uh, jumping back and forth between Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, just experimenting with, with angles and, and, and different colors. So yeah, that's looking cool. I'm, I'm liking how that's looking. Now I'm back in Adobe Illustrator now, just trying to clean things up a little bit. And this entire concept development process that you're seeing here is... A very good example of the way that I work. So what I like to do is I just like to work quick and dirty in Photoshop just to get some colors down. And if I find something that I like, then I go back over into Adobe Illustrator and then I spend a little bit more time there to kind of hash out the details, make sure everything works correctly and properly and make sure all the lines come together properly and then it fits the template exactly. So... Uh, you know, you don't have to do it that way, but it's the way I like to work, and it's the exact way that I did it for this concept. And uh, yeah, so I created the shapes in Adobe Illustrator and then brought them back over into Photoshop. So, yep, I'm just trying to place everything in Photoshop now. And again, you know, I could have done all of this in Adobe Illustrator. Some people prefer to work that way, and that's cool. But uh, I gotta have me Photoshop. <laughs> I loves me some Photoshop. And uh, yeah, so now I'm just working out the little details here, uh, trying to decide whether or not I wanted to add that gray stripe or that light gray stripe just forward of that blue section. Uh, you know, gray isn't really a part of the existing Lufthansa livery. There might be a sliver of gray or gray engines, if I recall correctly. I don't know. I'd have to look at it, but. In any case, I thought that gray worked really well with this. And, you know, now that I'm looking at this, I, I'm thinking maybe I didn't want to bring that gray forward across the front of the fuselage along the bottom there. It's kind of hard to see here what I'm talking about, but I just, I like that that angle of gray coming down to match the other angles of the, the, the blue and the yellow, but I don't know. It just It's one of those things. As a designer, you feel like you're always tweaking and the design is never done. As far as the titles go, I didn't make any changes from the existing livery except for bringing up the size of the, the, the logo or that Lufthansa text or the script at the forward section of the fuselage. I made it larger than it is or that it ever has been on any <laughs> Lufthansa aircraft. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe I went a little bit too big. And then what you're seeing me do there is just trying to figure out if there's a way to add in some yellow to the um, to the engine somehow and I ultimately decided against that thinking that it would be a little bit too busy and unnecessary so uh, yeah adding some final details here and yeah I would definitely would have I, I think I would eliminate that forward section of that gray 
line or that gray stripe. Anyway, yeah, so this is my Lufthansa livery concept on the Airbus A340. Don't ask me why I decided to do it on the A340. I just, <laughs> it's an aircraft that I really like and uh, I thought it might look cool. And yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. The only thing is that I'm worried that it might be a little bit too heavy and bold for Lufthansa. I mean, Luf the Lufthansa livery is typically very subtle, very classy. This might be a little bit too heavy handed, but oh well. In any case, I thought it might be cool to do a version in the Norebo brand colors, which don't exist. I had to make up. <laughs> I really need to work on a livery for my own brand, but I don't have one. This is just a concept just to see what it would look like with different branding that's anything but Lufthansa. So anyway, that's the design. I hope you like it. If you have any comments about it, good or bad, do leave them down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear them. I appreciate you watching, and if you have any questions, as always, do ask them. I will respond to them quickly, and all that jazz. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.